Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and today we're going to be talking about the next ship that I made um, during making Godzilla Jr. and the Kame Love Story. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, I covered King K, King Ghidorah X, Najida, um, Zilla Jr., and Chelsea. And Gears and Leone. And now this one we're going to be talking about. Tatsume x Leo Mothra. Now, the one in this universe is a girl. Not a guy. Now what you guys might be saying, Leo Mothra is a guy. Because in the Rebirth of Mothra movie, that Mothra is apparently a guy. Yes, the first... Ever Mothra got turned into a guy. Now, all of you guys are fully aware that Mothra has remained a female through the entirety of, God of the Godzilla universe, but this one got turned into a guy. But don't worry, this one in my universe is a girl, so don't worry. So, let's go over on how did Tatsume and Rainbow Moth- I mean, Leo Moth were met. So, where did they met? Or, how did they met? Well, Leo Moth were woke up in a body of a human being. Folks, eerily similar to the Hotoa body. She was u she got used to being worshipped by the Hotoas as their goddess. And now she's in a strange world who has a body. Or who has a human form like the Hotoa. But she's in a strange world that she doesn't recognize, and then, boom, Tatsume ends up saving her from a danger beast, and he is actually quite shocked because he hasn't seen anyone like her before. And she explains that she can't find her friends, and Tatsume ends up taking her to Night Raid, as long as she doesn't tell them or tell them their location or anything else like that. Killing her, on the other hand, seems pointless because she can just reincarnate herself. As long as there's a little bit of her energy that remains, she can just reincarnate herself over and over and over again. So, then once when Godzilla Jr. and the others arrived, they actually agreed to reveal their secrets to Night Raid. And once when uh, Leo Mothra told Tatsume on what her powers are and what kind of she is, he ends up growing shocked. Very shocked. Especially the part where she mentioned that she is actually a goddess. And Rainbow Mothra comes with. I mean, not Rainbow. Leo Mothra <laughs> comes with some crazy powers. When I mean crazy powers, I mean crazy powers. And Tatsume is just like in the background with his mouth dropped and his eyes widened. He ends up growing more shots once when she actually ends up transforming into her kaiju form. And so, they actually got to know one another for a little bit. And th the two actually started to become a thing. They ended up dating and... Yeah, basically that. Now for when their wedding took place. Their wedding actually took place just a few months after Leone and Anguirus' wedding. Just a few months after. And now for their children. Even though it's kind of... Well, oh, never mind. I'm not even going to mention that. So, for their children... 
they have three daughters and only one son. <laughs> so, for their daughters, Final Wars Mothra, Rainbow Mothra, and of course, Legendary Mothra. And for their son, Plasma, no, Electric Mothra. Electric, now for their appearances, well, you already know what uh, Final Wars Mothra, um, Rainbow Mothra, and Legendary Mothra look like. But for Electric Mothra, well, this is in their human forms, but you know what they look like in their monster forms, except for Electric Mothra. So for Electric Mothra's Mothra form, he more looks like a hybrid between Legendary Mothra and uh, Final Wars Mothra. He just looks more like a hybrid. And he can control lightning. And that is his powers. And like... He shares a few powers with his mother besides of his electric powers. But for his human form, he almost eerily looks identical to his father. Heck, the even Night Ray ends up <laughs> saying that Tatsume and his son almost look like twins within a way. The only differences are are the eye color and the hair color. That's the only thing that separates Tatsume and his son. If you're wondering what is his eye color and hair color, his eye color is a bit more dark-ish, bluish. And his hair, a bit more dark purple. But besides of that, he almost, almost wears the same clothes as his father does, and even actually has the same voice. So for Night Ray, it's actually going to be difficult to tell which one is taught to me. Now for Final Wars Mothra, Rainbow Mothra, and Legendary Mothra's human forms. They all look like triplets, basically. They basically all look identical to their mother. That's just it. <laughs> I know you guys probably expected me to basically come up with their own designs, but no, they just look identical to their mother. And so... Folks, that is the love story between Mothra, Leo, and Tatsume. Now, next up, it is, well, you guys can pick which one you want to come first. So, it could rather be Rodan and Shell, or Mine and Kiru. Pick which one you guys want. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to have a great day with excellence, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.